It's a cold and frosty morning here in the Black Forest today and actually it's the first or one of the only frosts we've had this year. Anyway, I'm out bright and early because I want to play with my new lens. My new telephoto lens, 18 to 250. So I'll get out on the bike and scare some morning crows away and make our way up to the goats because the goats are always willing to have the photograph taken. I like goats. I like their funny faces and their optimistic, curious way of running up to you. And I always find if you look at the faces look into their eyes they become like humans almost you can almost see expressions on the faces I really like goats if I lived in a different situation I think I would like to have a few goats So there's certain things to remember with a telephoto lens. Uh, they're not quite as clear as an, a normal lens, a sort of prime lens or a, a small tele lens, because when you zoom in, you've got to look through all the atmosphere that's been compressed together. So there's millions and billions of air atoms and water vapor atoms getting in your way. And so I found that you've got to bump up the contrast a little bit to make things a bit clearer because it can look a little hazy if you zoom in too far. There we're going to another place now and I just want to take some shots of this castle here against the trees. Just trying out the lens and seeing how it works. Now onward we go up to a little lookout point just to try another uh, view of the castle and see how it goes. Like anything you get new you've got to learn how to use it really. There's different settings. Uh, this lens is not so fast which means because of the quality of the glass inside um, you can't take a fast shutter speed you've got to have a slow shutter speed so that means using a monopod or a tripod so it's all a bit of a faff but uh, you've always got to pay for any advantage like zoom uh, you've got to pay for that advantage and as I said unless you've got thousands of pounds to buy the top lens then uh, you've just got to make do But I'm quite happy with this one I got. I got it on eBay for uh, 110 euros and it costs 500 new so you know, it's not the end of the world if it's not the best lens in the world. And I've done wide angle prime lens and I really fancied having a zoom just to mess about a little bit. And I've waited quite a long time to get one but um, so I'm having some fun experiencing telephoto zoom lenses at the moment. Spring is slowly springing forward. You can see little chives growing on the ground and little buds forming on the trees. So soon we'll be all complaining because it's too hot. Have a great day.